Good evening everybody, I'm Fictional Crystals, and what is up with the caller's eyes? 10,000 years ago, when the Galra Empire was still in alliance with Altair, they looked very different. The Galra had much less diversity in appearance compared to now. No Galra had fur or hair. They all had pointed ears, similar to the Altan's ears. There weren't these variations of ears. Then there's their eyes. The Galra used to all have visible pupils in their eyes. It was only their sclera that was yellow. Now most Galrans have completely yellow eyes and no pupils. They also generally have a larger build than they did before. How come the Galra looks so different now than they did then? Well, well, over time, they could have changed to adapt. The Galra home planet Dibazol got destroyed. Their species would have had to have adapted to the different living conditions outside of Dibazol. Another idea is that there is a lot more hybrids than just Keith, Lotor, and his squad. After 10,000 years, certainly some Galra would have had children with non galar species, resulting in alterations to their bloodline. The future generations would stray slightly from the original Galra look. Maybe there aren't as many purebred Galra as we think, which is why there is such diversity in the species now. The Galra's eyes are striking along with their size. Hybrids do result in differences, but the Galra's current one color eyes are so common with the Galra race that it couldn't have just been due to crossbreeding. The first Galra we know of whose eyes turned to one color like this is Zarkon. He got overexposed to quintessence and these dark creatures. His wife Anerva, who is now known as Hagar, got overexposed as well, resulting in her brown or tan eyes turning fully yellow too. Quintessence changed Zarkon and Anerva. They both became a lot more threatening, and it also changed the Galra empire. The Galra used tons of quintessence it's even their fuel. What if the Galra's prolonged exposure to quintessence caused their eyes to turn yellow, and also made them bigger and stronger? Voltron and the lines that make it also have yellow eyes. Voltron's lines were made from the quintessence-infused ore from the comet. Quintessence caused many members of the Galar Empire to change. Their eyes became yellow. Interesting little thing here, Zarkon's eyes actually have a purple tint, unlike everyone else's yellow. This could be because of the dark creatures that went through him, or from too much quintessence. This is the same for Hagar's eyes. They're used to be purple sparkles coming off of hers back when she went through the same thing as Zarkon, but the purple sparkles are no longer there. That's because she's not taking refined quintessence like Zarkon is. Zarkon regularly gets infused with refined quintessence, which is purple. The ton of refined quintessence keeps Zarkon's eyes like this, and keeps his strength up. It's what he's using for life support. The warden at Beta Trez injected quintessence into himself. He grew massive and his eyes turned purple. That's from refined quintessence too. Refined quintessence obviously has greater effects. Quintessence makes people and things significantly stronger. That's one of the reasons Zarkon uses it on himself so often. The warden has a pet yapper with yellow eyes. Laika is a big animal, maybe because of quintessence. Robies are infused with quintessence and they are a force to be reckoned with. The Galar Empire wanted to have the best chance of taking over planets. The way to do it was with quintessence. It helped create warriors, but also had some side effects. Their appearance changed and so did their minds. Quintessence severely affected the Galar Empire. Empire, and it's still going to play a big part in their future. But anyway, thanks for watching and summon Prince Lotor.